Hey everyone. Hi, how's it going? And welcome to some more Skyward Sword HD. It's been a while, but it actually feels really good to be playing this game again because I've wanted to actually come back and finish this. Uh, part reason is because of a certain project that I have that involves playing Skyward Sword, involves recording it, and I don't want to beat the whole game off stream because I intended on doing that here. Anyways, how's it going, everybody? Uh, Mermaid Amy, hello. Spiker the Dragon Bear, welcome. How are you both doing today? Just making sure I can see everything. But yeah, um, so today's stream is a little late only because I decided to start writing the script. Or I was working on the script for the next Without Defeating a Badnik, and I'm about more than halfway through. So that will... I, I want to finish it today, but I know it's not going to be done today. That kind of sucks because I want to work on it all day tomorrow. So that way it's up by Thursday for channel members and Twitch subs and stuff like that. And then it'll come out like two days later for everybody else. Because then on top of that, like right as soon as that's done, I got to turn around and start working on uh, Sage content. And um, that's going to be pretty overwhelming because it's going to be... Uh, I want it to be like seven days of like fan game videos and seven days of videos for the second channel as well so like main channel and second channel would both have content so yeah that was like that's my plan i don't know if it's gonna go the way that i want it to and i would really like for it to but uh we'll see how that happens how that goes oh well yeah I, i'm on twitch again i was considering like oh maybe you know end of the week stream on youtube but then i want to release a video on the same day that i would probably stream it so that ain't happening it's gonna be all twitch as for streaming for Sage, I don't think that's happening. I'd rather just play various games here, wait for Sage to end, look for some really cool ones that'll probably make up a whole stream if I can stream it, and then stream it, you know, after Sage is done. And then, you know, continue the games that I'm playing here, like Skyward Sword, um, Mario Sunshine, and Final Fantasy Adventure, and then probably get back to Sonic Unleashed on the Wii, because I, have, I haven't forgotten about that one. It's just... I need to stop starting new games. Which, by the way, uh, this isn't me starting a new game, but I might just do this as a one-off stream. But uh, I did buy Cyberpunk 2077 on Xbox One, and I want to see exactly how much of a uh, of a dumpster fire of a game that is. So uh, we're gonna have a first impression stream at some point within either this week or next week on Cyberpunk. It's not gonna be a full like playthrough. That'll take way too long. Uh, but I just want to see some of the silliness that's in it. Uh, hopefully it's somewhat of a glitch-filled mess, but we'll see. Oh, hey, Maxi, what's up? Working on a college thing, decided to use... Decided to use it as, as an excuse to draw something based on Final Fantasy II. Ah, nice. Uh, glitch hunt? Possibly. I don't know exactly how many glitches are in that game, but when I do get that game, um, and I install the 76 gig or however big of a file that is. The game's huge, so hopefully, you know, I can create an entertaining stream with it. But first, I, I know for sure there is a streamer mode that I will be using because uh, there's some stuff on there. I don't want it. I, I know it's like, oh, you see something. Oh, hey, you see a thing that, you know, probably shouldn't be streaming, but, you know, because Twitch somehow still allows cyberpunk streaming. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna try to avoid that. So yeah, so many games, so little time. Exactly, so many games. So, gonna kind of cut off the music and get started. I'm also gonna lower my webcam just a teeny tiny bit. But yeah, you know, those videos I wish I could get done. Uh, videos I wish I could work on games. Games that I wish I could actually play on stream, but I wanna finish the ones I currently have. Sorry, right, Maxi. Thanks for coming by. Hope you have a good one. So I believe I have to go to yeah, I have to go to the Isle of Songs. This is where I'm at now. Right, I came back all the way to Skyloft because I was like, oh yeah, might as well prepare to get over there. Uh do I need anything? I have an extra bottle, but I might hang on to that to have nothing in case. Um, 
ancient tablet. Sword. I have the better shield now. Um. Hmm. Doesn't seem like I really need anything from here. I could just. I'll go this way so that way I'm not bumping on anything. Now I gotta remember how to play this because I haven't done this in, in a while. Uh, where is that? There it is. No, that's not how I do that. I gotta, I gotta relearn the controls. Sorry, it's been a while. How is there a twister that high up in the air? Anyways, I have to go in here. Which is the island I was in, um, the Isle of Songs or whatever. I don't know how to use my, uh, I can't remember how to use my boost. That's how we do it. What is this? And you know what? I'm not gonna pay it any mind. I don't have to do this thing. Okay, cool. I don't have to do this thing again. Great. So, um, aside from like the stuff that I was streaming last week, I actually started playing a game called Cyber Shadow, which is like a Ninja Gaiden inspired game. And um, that game is tough. Like, I, it has literally kicked my butt a lot in this game um, since I started it. And I'm actually almost done with it. But, yeah, I don't know if I'll stream it though, because it's pretty frustrating. There we go. Hey, Hypersonic, how's it going? <sighs> Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with the Skyward Strike from your sword, a message from the Goddess awakened deep within my memory. The Goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I am the one guiding you from my... Oh, shoot, I misread that. Two sacred flames remain. You should desire to possess them. You must obtain the other sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Harness the power of these gifts, and let there be no doubt that you shall find yourself standing before the majesty of the sacred flames. Now, I give you another melody. It will serve as a key to unlocking your next trial, which awaits within the shifting sands of Lanero Desert. Good, how am I? I? I'm doing pretty good. Been getting some stuff done. So, kind of a productive day. I think the harp in this game, I, I think the harp is probably the the least fun instrument to use in the series. Like you have the um, the instruments from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, you have the uh, the baton from Wind Waker. Uh, there's like a flute that you have from, um, what is it, Spirit Tracks or something? I never really used it, so um, that one I can't say anything about. But this one, not so, it's not as great, it's just like you move the motion thing. The song you heard is called Neru's Wisdom. Use the song of knowledge to find your next trial. Or to find the next trial. Neru's Wisdom. 
Yeah, the 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 timing is not great. I have memorized Nero's wisdom for you. You can now use dowsing to locate the gate to the next trial. You should set a course for Lanero Desert immediately. Like, I legitimately thought it was going to be like, oh, press a couple buttons and then strum. Like, press whatever button and then strum. That would have been awesome. But it's like, no, you just have to, like, m uh, move the controller at certain times. Which, I, I mean, it works, I guess. I'm just not about it. But aside from that, the game's still fun. Like, I'm enjoying it. I, I, was, fr I was a little frustrated with it last time, but... I think it's, I was playing it for way too long. It's like, I, okay, at some point, I probably should have stopped. <laughs> oh, so we're, like, what, half a month away for uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate? I'll be honest, like, I think I'm just more wanting to play it just so I can get content done for it. But I'm, eh, I don't know. I don't hate, I don't hate the original colors. I, I thought it was fine. It's just some of the levels were not my favorite. They were, like, the 2D ones. I didn't like any of them. Or maybe one of them I did like, but most of them I could just kind of do without. Oh, God. These things... Oh, they actually hit me. But, um, as for, like, playing a version with a controller that is be that is much better to use, I'm pretty hyped for that. Is that Lanero Desert? No, that's not. Wait. Lanero. No, that's Elden Volcano. Lanero's right there. I'm kind of already... I kind of already have my things prepared for the most part, so I don't have to worry about it. Why not like them? Uh, it's just the... Um, a lot of them were, like, really short. A lot of them were... Uh, there were a few that had, like, the springs, and it was just like, oh, be on these springs and just let that guide you, and I just wasn't a fan of them. Like... They were. It just seemed like they were there just to be there, rather than putting a full like level that transitions from 3D to 2D, like kind of back and forth. If it was something like that, I'd have a lot more fun with it. But um, yeah. Also, the bosses were like, at least the early bosses were like pushovers. There was no challenge to them. So it's. I I don't hate it. It's just not one I'm willing to come back to over and over again, like how some people are. Uh, but yeah. I'm gonna take the what? Hmm. I'll start at the at the mining entry. I'm only starting here just because the last place started me off in a good. Place. We have arrived at the Lunar Mine. You can use your dowsing ability to locate the entrance to the trial. You must pass to open the way to the sacred flame. All right then. I had a feeling it was in this direction. There was no way it was going to be somewhere else. I kind of do like the motion tracking on this. It, it makes it makes swinging swords a lot of fun. Especially when you swat um, bats like that. Uh, that's just a ton of fun. direction can I no I have to activate this somehow oh right forgot about this whole gimmick Okay, I have the right idea, just not the right, <laughs> not at the right place for it. Hey, Rainbow Shores, how's it going? How you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Hope all is well.
Oh, that actually worked. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I think I needed that? I don't know. Oh, whoa. Okay, so that does still happen. I can still get my, uh... Oh, sh ah, I should have known that wasn't going to work. I believe with this, I just run. Uh, played through Jack and Dexter one again for the first time in years on the stream. Oh, awesome. How'd that go? Hopefully it went well. Why does that sound like such a familiar sound effect? Sounds like something off the Super Nintendo. Okay, let's see if I can do this one. Can I just... Eh. <laughs> okay, that worked. That's perfect. Uh, eh. That's too far. Oh, you did the first six areas? First six areas, 100% in three hours. Oh, that's that's awesome. I've actually never played the... I think I've only ever played one Jack and... Or one game from the series, but it's like the PSP game, uh, Daxter. So, my knowledge with that series is, uh, extremely limited. I, I never got into, like, the PlayStation platformers. Just because I never... I didn't know much about them. Oh, okay. Well, they did. I don't need this, do I? No, I don't. You played the one game I haven't. <laughs> That's okay. I had friends that were telling me that it was like I played like the the worst possible Ratchet and Clank game when I was like, yeah, I played one of the games before. I had it on my PSP, and it was Size Matters. <laughs> it's like I, I played it like a little while ago, and I remembered why I didn't get very far in it. Eh, eh. That's not working. There we go. Uh, Daxter, I don't remember much from it. Did that just curve? Yeah, it did. Would you look at that? It, it, it freaking curves. Hmm. Wait, I feel like I have to push this here. But yeah, I don't remember if it was any good. I, I still have it. It's just I haven't played it in a long time. So maybe I should do that one day, just like fire up the game and give it a shot and see if it's any, if it's good or not, if it's good or not, because I don't, I don't remember it very well. Oh, that's why it curved. I didn't even know I could curve it. That's actually really cool. Oh, I curved it too much. Oh, crap. I, I didn't even notice that. Uh, the way I, okay, so the way I throw it. Kind of okay. That. There we go. I was wondering why my throw was getting like ah, it's still curved, but it worked. I try to get my PSP emulator since the store is closed down on the Vita. No, nah, it still works. I think they only closed down like the PSP stuff. Like, I, I think only the PSP store is closed. Like, the Vita one should still be working. Oh. Dang it. 
Why does it do the diagonal one? Perfect. Oh, that's right. That was for a treasure chest. But yeah, if I remember correctly, I think the Vita store still works. Um, it's just the PSP store that got shut down, which for good reason. I mean, well, I mean, not for good reason, but like it makes sense. You know, the PSP isn't exactly like it's not making them a lot of money these days. I don't remember how to hold my Joy-Con when I go for those strikes. Perfect. I was going to try and, like, spin around a little bit. <laughs> so what's been new with you? Uh... Not a whole lot, actually. Been trying to get videos done, but unfortunately, you know, motivation and stuff makes it hard to kind of just, like, make videos on a whim. Kind of wish I had that from, like, back in the day where it's like, oh, get up, instantly start working on a video, and, like, and, like, hours later it's already done. But uh, for some reason, I'm just not really feeling it. But aside from that, um, just been... Been doing stuff. Went to go see like a pro wrestling show the, uh, the other day, which was awesome. It's like an indie one, but that was the fun part. Uh, what show? It was like a indie uh, pro wrestling show that was uh, ran by one of the uh, by one of the WWE Hall of Famers, uh, Rikishi. I he I guess it's either it's his own school or it's like his uh, own little uh, it, it's his own little school that he's got going on. So it's like a lot of the people he's training to be part of like the wrestling business, and they were holding shows on. Uh, it was like in front of like no crowds for a while because you know uh, like the whole pandemic but um recently they actually started doing shows in front of people again and the show that i went to was the first one which was interesting it was also kind of cool though saw a 300 dude uh, 300 pound dude go for like uh i forgot what the move's called like they charge at someone they just or they just rolled but they're like on the apron and they go to like outside the ring it was awesome i had to take a two-month break due to burnout from twitch oh yeah but like burnout is real and it re it really sucks you know wish i didn't have to deal with it wish i could just you know pump out videos like, like a machine but uh, it's just not not how it goes It's going to be over there. I feel like I should have... Hold on. I can go back up to the sky and then just go in there. Rather than... Rather than, like, go through all of this, like... The same... Like, just trying to get all the way to the end. I could just go up to Skyloft and then drop right down on there. Because I know going the other way is going to take way too long. Just thought about that one. But yeah, I, I think when I switched to scripted videos, I was like, oh, I could do these. And it's like, wait, no, not really. Not entirely. Scripting is a little more difficult than I thought it was. Even though I've done a few scripted videos before, it's just... It's like one of those things where I kind of bit off more than I can chew. And then for a while, it's just like sitting down doing nothing. Actually, wait, no, this is just an easier way through. I got this. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Tumbleweed. There we go. I caught tumbleweed. That looks painful. Oh, come on. It's right there. Okay, cool.
Really, it's like right there. I don't understand. Okay. I had a feeling it was in there. It took all the guessing... Took all the guesswork away, so that's good. How good is the remake compared to the OG? Um, I don't know. I've never played the original, but I do own it now. Uh, because I'm planning a... I'm planning a bit of a complicated video, a big video, something like that. Um, where I play the original and I play the remaster and then I compare, I'm going to compare it to Sonic Colors when that remaster releases. So I'm going to compare how, like how the original, like which game did a better remaster. So that's going to be my, my whole thing. I'm not going to use the Switch version of uh, Colors though. I'll go for like an Xbox version just so that way it's fair. Because then I know that the argument of 60 FPS is going to happen. It's like, well, let's make it fair then. So, that's the plan. But, like, as a game overall, it's, it's good. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be here, but we will. Is Colors Remake coming to PC? Uh, yeah, uh, Colors Ultimate is coming to PC as well. I believe it's going to be a timed exclusive on... Uh, Okay, now I know for sure I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, the remaster is going to be on PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. And then if you have, like, the next-gen consoles, it's going to be playable on those. So, yeah. Uh, right now it's going to be a uh, timed exclusive on Epic, but according to Katie from the Sonic uh, social media, because on the official, I think she mentioned it, that there is going to be some kind of... Oh, it's right here. What am I doing? That there's going to be a... Um, a version coming out to Steam at some point, or like other platforms. I don't think she said Steam specifically, but all right, now I got to remember how to do this. That's not how I do that. Um, how do I bring up the harp again? There we go. I got it. It's the X button. It's so weird. Like, it is, it's not my favorite way of playing music. You only have Epic for free stuff. I feel you on that one, because that's why I have it. I just have it for the free game. I don't care to spend a dollar on it. If anything, I think once uh, Colors Ultimate, if it does come to the Switch, I'll buy it on that. Just so that way all of my Sonic games are on one platform. And the only reason I actually took uh, Sonic Mania on Epic was just because it was given away. Thrust your sword to the center of the mark and open the way to a new silent room. Oh, that's right. We've got to do a silent realm. Dang it. Yeah, that worked. You would assume you have to do it with the Joy-Con upside down. No, it's got to be up right side up. My mistake.
Master Link, as you know, I cannot follow you. The trial calls for your mind alone, as it is in every ins in every silent realm. This is the second trial, known as Naru's Silent Realm. It will test your wisdom. You must overcome this trial to find the flames that will enhance your sword. Ho hope it comes to steam. Yeah, me too, because I would love to have it like be with the rest of my collection. Got the spirit vessel, which basically means I have to catch get every spirit that I can. When your vessel is full, your spirit will grow and you'll be entrusted with a new power by the goddess. Do you have any questions? Nope. Yes, master. Master, I will await your return in the outside world. And if it's anything like the other one, I can't get caught. Wow, that was quick. I do that. Wait, already? Wow, that's fast. All right, I have to I have to touch one of them, and it'll give me like ninety seconds of uh, invulnerability to that. Uh, I forgot how this worked right after, because I've only done this once, and that was uh, last stream, which was pretty frustrating, just because I was getting tired of the motion controls. But now it's like I got this. I hope. So the idea is that I'm supposed to get all of the uh, little, the little glowy things, uh, because that will take me to the next spot, I guess. My knowledge on this is not as good as it used to be, but or as I would expect it to be. So uh, the top left, there's a flower on there. Basically, what that means is that is like the amount of time before. Uh, everyone starts looking for me for each one I get it refills and when it runs out you know they'll start searching for me but uh, thankfully I don't have to be in that position right now the tears of Nehru yeah I kind of skipped I can, I'm just like uh, name a uh, glowy thing Run through. Don't get caught. Awesome. So for each one I get, it'll reset the timer. Gotta make sure it doesn't completely stop. I don't run out of time, so that way I can do all of this. Because I believe if I, if I take one hit, that's it. Like, I start over. Kind of a bummer, though. Should I? Can I? I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, that is, that's trouble. Just have to do it from all the way here. Now let me, let me grab one that's a bit easier to get before I try it. There we go. I can grab that one. This part sucks. It's, it's stressful. I'll give it that. It's very stressful. Uh, what is this? But as long as I get the the lights, I'll be fine. Just gotta avoid these lights. Which means I think I have to do this and just let it pass through. Yeah, I do. As long as those lights do not detect me whatsoever. Or this guy specifically. It's okay, I didn't panic. I wasn't panicking, you were panicking. Oh God! <laughs> as long as that guy didn't get me, I would have been fine. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, I think after that, this part becomes a bit easier to get through. Whoa! What the hell is that? Oh, I forgot that does. Oh no! I hate what this means. I have to do. I'm getting out of there. I was thinking like a backwards, a backflip would do it, but. Cool. 
cool. That'll, I hope that's the only one, because that is not going to be fun. I thought the light part was going to be the... Okay, then. Uh, let's see if I can get around that. I'm going to make sure the water's not coming out of that one. It looks safe. Because if I remember correctly, I believe the water will also get you ejected from this as well, which I don't want that happening. Yeah, that wasn't going to work. Um, let's just run up here. So, have any of you actually, any of you beaten this game? I don't know if I asked it the last time I played, but I'm, I'm just kind of curious now because I want to... I am. I just want to have an idea of like, oh, how much will I know compared to like uh, others who are watching this? Because I'm assuming all of you know this a little bit better than I do. Because this is like my first playthrough of it, like the first time I'm playing it. No, 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 go away, go away, go away, go away. Go away. Damn it. Uh. Okay. Where's that last one at? It's all the way up there? No. Oh, I hate this. It's in the middle. No! Oh my! No! I was so close! Oh. Damn, that sucked. All right, goal is immediately get this one. Don't do that. And they go straight for the uh, the one up here. Get the one, get the surrounding ones, but big one is getting this one. The one up here is going to be my main objective, just because this one's going to be the... I didn't know I have to run back for this one, so... I was so close, though. All I... Oh, whoops. Alright, I don't have my sailcloth. Alright. The part that's going to suck is having to come back. So I think what I'll do is intentionally leave an easy one to come back to. Man, that sucks. I was so close. And then it was taken away from me. I think I'll leave. Um, I need to leave one of the easy ones available so I can keep coming back to it. It would be that one if this water crap didn't exist. All right, Rainbow, thanks for coming by. Hope you have a good, uh, hope you have fun with VR chat. Oh boy. Okay, I might need to grab one really fast. Good idea to keep some on standby so that we can just run back for them. 
Let's just restart the timer. I would do it for like one that's a bit further down or like near the end, but this is gonna be stressful. Gonna have a try to have a new movie night. Awesome. Sounds like fun. Alright. Let's see what I need to do here. I don't remember if the water will uh will alert them or if it'll just or if it hurts me. It alerts them. Shoot. Uh, okay. Now I know. Should probably approach it from here from now on. <laughs> Rather than trying to push, go for pull so that way my feet are not directly in it the moment I start it, so. That would be a good idea. Uh, in. Oh, that's, that's such an annoying one to deal with, so. I drop down. I got an idea. Run for that one, get that one, and then run down here for this one. In theory, it should work, but only in theory. this. Wait a minute, I just thought about it. Get noticed, and then just run for it. Then just make a break for it. Go away. <laughs> Damn. Okay, let's hope there's nothing in my way between here and there. Perfect. Sweet. That is just what I was looking for. All right. Awesome. What was that thing? I don't know, but the whole thing is to like, if you're caught by that light, it'll alert the others that you're around. So big thing is just to avoid it. I want to see if there's any on this side that I need to run, that I need to go to. Yeah, there was this one. There's three more for me to get, and these are all relatively... Oh, that's an easy one. Game's just handing this one to me. And this one's another relatively easy one. I just need to avoid those guys. But thankfully, these are on a set path, as opposed to the other ones that were just standing there. If they're standing there, they'll come towards you. If they're like spotlights like those ones, they, they run along a set path and uh, are actually very manageable. I don't know what the names of them are, though. <laughs> so after this, I can go for that that one and then run towards the end, and that will be it. Oh no, that's that's a bad one. Thankfully, I have what I would consider enough time.
but this one it moves at two different set uh inner or paths or speeds but it's pretty easy to manage one more to go which is thankfully this one and then i think it they don't run after me i hope There we go. And if I'm not caught, it just means that I just have to run here and claim my prize. And we did it. You got the claw shots with the sacred gift. You'll be able to explore areas that were previously unreachable. Aim for special targets and vines, and then fire a claw on a chain that pulls you to the place that you have targeted. So, I have the claw shots from Twilight Princess. If I remember correctly, the double claw shots were a lot of fun. Or they look like fun, so we'll see how it is here. Congratulations, Master. You have completed the trial. Now you have the power to proceed to the sacred flame that will be entrusted to your sword and your strong spirit. Basically, those little bullseyes that we're looking for. The claw shots are one of the goddess's sacred gifts. You can extend these claws attached to the chain, attached to chains, and pull yourself to targets and vines beyond your reach. The flame is somewhat in the desert. I conjecture that it lies in a place you have not yet visited, Master. Oh, God. Okay, that's the aim going weird. It's still weird that my aim gets stuck to the side like that. Okay, I'm too far from it. Perfect. Better be good. Got a Dusk Relic. Oh, right. I needed these for some kind of upgrade. Oh, I think I know where I need to go. So, the last time I went through this area, there was something along here? Not up there, though. Right, I forgot. I could just run along this. leading me in here and I can go all the way around and grab my uh I I can get that goddess stone got annoying. It is a double claw shot. Sweet. I thought I only had one. No, I have a set.
Perfect. So that's what I needed to do. I gotta figure out where I'm going. So if it's a it's a place I've never been to. There it is. running in the right direction? Where am I at? Okay, I'm going in the right way. On the opposite side. Dang it. Uh Alright, I can fix that. Oh, but it does mean I can I can just travel through here a little bit easier. So rather than being confined to running all the way around to get to where I need to, I just use uh, the double claw shot to get myself there. My motion controls are all screwed up. Oh god. Like my motion controls get all screwed up and then I get hit by a barrage. Right, it's this thing. I can push this down. So I think before I actually get into the dungeon, what I will do is make my way back to uh, Skyloft. Just so that way I can get potions. You know, stuff so that way I'm not dying instantly. This looks like a place of interest. Wait, is that the Goron? Is that the same one from... No, that's not the same one. Hope I don't have to fight this. I almost never get visitors. My name is Golo, and I am researching the legend of the three dragons, which is said to live here. First glance, it would seem that there is nothing in this area, but I know there is something here, and I will just keep on looking. Your name is Link. I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? And how about you, Link? Why are you here? You're looking for a sacred flame? That sounds like something I have heard that I have heard of before. But maybe not. Sweet Goro. I remember now. I read something about it in an ancient scroll that spoke of Lanaru Sansi. I do not remember all the details, but I can but you can get to Lanaru Sansi if you go straight through here. Easy enough. If you want to get to the Lenaru Sansi, you're going to need this key. Oh, how nice. He just gave me the key. Good luck to you. I thought I had to fight him. I take that back. So generous. Ooh, treasure chest. 
free stuff. You get a monster horn. Some Bokoblins carry a monster horn on their waist. If you latch it, if you latch on it and pull with your whip, it is possible to claim it for yourself. Oh, okay, so I could just, I can hit Bokoblins with a, uh, so if I hit them with the whip, I can potentially, I can latch onto it and grab the, uh, the horn. Though I feel like the claw shot could, should easily accomplish that, but whatever. What's the point? It's just an exit. Oh, shoot. A report, Master? This is Lanaru Sand Sea. This whole area was once a vast ocean. But the water is all evaporated, and now this area is a sea of sand. Science indicates this place functioned as a port linking to the land to the sea. Okay. Fair enough. This area operated on a new form of power. There is a 90% probability that the sacred flame is located ahead. I recommend exploring the sand sea. Just don't drown. Okay, I do like that it does give you it does let you know when you're about to latch onto something properly, so Damn it. Those were beetles. Oh, I did not like hearing that. There's all this. Bring up a sword in case. This is getting really annoying. That has happened twice. Those enemies are not fun to fight, though it's like it's probably one of those things like you're, well, you're not meant to fight them, you're just, just trying to get away from them, but when you try to fight them, they become a problem. Okay, so I think what I'll do is from the ancient harbors go back to Skyloft. Because I am really going to need uh as many potions as I I'm gonna need like two potions, so might as well take them with me. Wish I had something that would make me like resist electricity. Only so that way I'm not like doing the same I'm not hit, getting hurt by the exact same enemy repeatedly, especially when they get really like when they make when they have them be like abnormally large just for the sake of it.
Okay, got a heart potion. So I'll get two of them. And then I'm going to try and upgrade them because I believe you can. I can get it to where they upgrade more than just... I'm going to upgrade one of them. <laughs> Man, it's something about, like, at nighttime. So I have to come back when it's nighttime in this game, but for sure I want to deal with uh, the Lineru Desert while while I can, which is in this direction. This would be perfect for right here. There we go. And now I'm just going to go all the way back to where I was just at. So go through the ancient harbor. Thing I want to know, how do I travel with this? That's how you just go to the past. Well, that's kind of weird. Also kind of cool. Hmm. Who are you? Some human. Who am I? I'm the proud skipper of the ship that protects L uh, Lanero's flame. It was the day of the storm. My crew and I were navigating the seas as usual. Then those brutes, those the pirates suddenly attacked us. They were after uh, Nehru's flame. My crew was imprisoned and I was thrown into the sea. I drifted on the current to this port. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. It haunts me, wondering where my ship could be. I bet my hat that they've turned the ship invisible and are hiding out somewhere. You can't see it? Oh, you can't see it. Why not? In order to protect Nairu's flame, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. You say you're searching for Nairu's flame? Oh, so you need Nairu's flame to find someone important to you. In that case, you should help me search my ship and crew. If you'll help me, then I guess I'll help you. I'll let you on my boat. Yeah, let's go. Really? Well, in that case... Hmm. There's something weird about that map of yours. If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, then you need a proper sea chart. There's a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat. So first, you'll need to get on this boat and set a course for Skipper's Retreat. Shall we shove off? Let's go.
My circuit sparks to life in the salt air. It feels good to take to the seas again after so long. Let's see if I can remember how to navigate. Press L to move. Press B while moving to speed up. Press R to ready to cannon. Press R to cannon uh, to fire it again. There's a pier on the island where we can dock. Right, let's go. This is awesome. And it's got a, this boat's got a stamina meter. If I bring that, oh. It's funny how agile this boat is. And there we go, Skipper's Retreat. Which is not what I was expecting. We've arrived. My shack is at the very top. The C chart is, is we need is in my shack. You're the only one who has to go get it. There are more monsters than before, so be careful. I can't wander far off from the boat, so I'll just stay here. It's funny how he doesn't question the fact that why is there so much sand, but he's able to travel through like on a boat. It's just a zip line to get back down. Oh wait, claw shot. It's a stupid. I have to reset it anytime I want to swing at one of those. I hate these things. Those yellow blob things are like becoming the most obnoxious enemies I've ever fought in this game. It's not even like they're good. To, it's not. They're not even fun to fight. It's just they get really tiresome after a while because it's like the same thing every time. Those things just ran off. Oh, shoot. Um.
There we go. This I can get off that as soon as I can. Oh my god, can this aim just not be the worst? What am I supposed to defend? onto it. It moved it. It freaking moved it out of the way. That is so cheap. Why does it... Jesus Christ. This game's gonna get me killed. Like, I'm not even intentionally doing... I'm so sick of it. Okay then, fine. God. Wow, this L targeting. The, the aiming just turns to crap half the time. I can't even hit it. Like, I know what I'm supposed to hit, it's just, it won't let me hit it. And when I aim, it does that crap. This is getting annoying. God, I'm getting so sick of this. Is it its face? What am I supposed to hit? It's a little hook, right? This, this game is so vague about everything. Yeah, that helps out. It certainly helps. Oh, is it this stupid thing? Yes, it is. Figured since I'm using the claw shot this whole time, it would make that mandatory, but I guess not. It's like it introduces the claw shot, but I'm not supposed to use the claw shot. I'm supposed to use something else. I still hate the aiming. So I have to cycle between two weapons. God. Oh, I guarantee I get I get hurt doing this. Uh, really, A little thing like that. I was how, how can Yeah, that's not surprising. Can I hit it from here? Now what do I... God, this game doesn't... I don't know. It's. I feel like the game's not telling me something. It's like, what, what do I do, huh? Q. 
Can't use that. I don't think this actually did any damage to it, did it? Oh, right. Okay. It's been a while. God. I don't want to pilot it. So yeah, it has been a while, so it, it definitely shows. I know I was getting frustrated earlier, but, uh, I mean, parts of it did make sense, like, if the game wanted me to use a brand new, uh, upgrade, it tends to just, like, make you use it the whole duration of wherever you're going. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, hit the stupid thing. There we go. Why does this game have to make it a challenge? Why does it gotta make it that... Not even like a fair challenge is what I'm trying to get at. That is a sand cicada. I don't know. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, I got it, so now I can go in and I. Pretty sure I can zip line back down, which is pretty neat. And screw you. I recommend waiting until after you have achieved objective before taking a rest. First, you need to find the C chart. Let me recover my hearts first. Jeez. Dear Captain, thanks for everything. Yours, the crew. I just thought about it. <laughs> oh, 
I was trying to get it where it's comfortable to hold, but I couldn't I couldn't get it. That looks like it. We got the ancient sea chart. This old map details the area it was long ago before the sea succumbed to the desert sand. Master, look over there. That is the ship containing Naru's flame. There's a 90% chance that the synthetic life forms assembled here are the crew. This image would indicate the ship's captain spent many happy days among his many crew members. Oof, that's... It's also kind of sad. Something tells me I take the whip to the thing so I can go all the way back down. Huh? Oh, it's right here. Oh, I just kind of grabbed. There we go. Now we can go back. And I have a C chart. We got the C chart. Now we can finally navigate properly. Let's go for my ship. Shall we set sail? Let's go. Anchors away. Open up the sea chart you brought with you. Don't tell me it's going to be like an extra. <laughs> okay. Let me mark it for you. No, no need. Okay, let's set sail. I know I skipped the text, but I'm just like, ugh. Can't go this way. Oh, it's too shallow. You know, that seems like pirates. <laughs> uh, that was not my fault. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Oh, this is the roller coaster one. I have seen a small video of this. It was either the trailer or somebody's video that briefly mentioned Skyward Sword. So I know of it. We have arrived. This is the island where we used to make our own ships. You'll find the shipyard here as well, as well as, well as the town where the workers lived. This building is the construction bay. But the entrance is closed. Looks like you can't get in. 
each location on the island is linked to one another via a minecart track. You might be able to get back to the door of the construction bay if you get around the other side of it using a minecart. This will be fun. There's a minecart station over there. You should head to the station first. I'll wait here. This will be an experience. You're not the one I'm trying to hit. Oh, God, why is there two? of a pain to fight, but once you figure it out, once the motion controls finally cooperate, it's fine. I think setting up the Wii mode is still more, like, annoying because you have to, uh, you have to, like, set your Wii mote on a flat surface. The station was used by the folks heading into the old mines. People still ride the minecarts all over the place. I'm probably supposed to tell you that there's some safety information about using the minecarts posted on the wall over there. Car riding can be uh, dangerous at times, so I would suggest you give that a quick read. Okay. I was taking a look at something real quick. Press A to get on. Lead, lean your body to balance the weight of the car as you approach a curve. If you're moving too fast, press B to slow down. Jump to clear obstacles. That's how I jump. Okay, you just flick upwards to jump. Why did I not? Like, felt like those should have been there. And then this one will take me all the way to the beginning. Yeah, it takes me all the way to the beginning. So I have to eventually come back here. Minecart thing's a little tough. Construction bay. I like how it like it just pulls you up and then it makes you go downwards. It's a lot more in involved than something like SRB2 or Mario RPG.
Man, that's intense. <laughs> uh, wow, indeed. <laughs> like, imagine slipping off that. It's... Oh, construction bay. All right, so I do need to be here. So I have a feeling I'm... Wait, how do I go back then? We have arrived at the shipyard construction bay. With the passing of many years, this structure is filled with sand. I recommend looking in the sand for a clue that might direct you to the location of the ship. Easy. Got him. I didn't think it was giving me a boss fight that early. Or, like, I think this was, like, one of the bosses from the previous areas. Or it's, like, a mini boss it would give me. I didn't think it was going to be that early. It would appear that in the years those factories went unused, monsters have moved in and built a nest. I now estimate that the chances of finding the clue in the sand is extremely low. You were saying? It sort of helped. Oh, I gotta do one more. Wait a minute. So do I just come back here? What happens? So my ship wasn't here. There's only one place left for us to look for clues. This could be scary, but we have to head to the stronghold of the pirates who stole my ship. Let's go. Anchors away. Anchors away. Or something like that, I don't know. It's pretty scary. The pirate captain is a mechanical maniac. He's got no shortage of e evil underlings, too. I've never wanted to lay eyes on him again, but... If we want to take the ship back, then we have no choice. The pirate stronghold is here at this X mark. Tighten up whatever you humans have instead of bolts and let's get going.
Now we're kind of just taking this to go a little bit further. That'll work. Might be a little blown out, but it's a little dark. So maybe that'll improve things. So now, uh, let's just kind of go through the stronghold. This is easily as scary as I thought it would be. But if you think about it, they should be all dead. The only reason I'm up and about like this is because of that time shift stone in the boat. So I have nothing to worry about. I feel better now, Link, and it's time for you to go look for my ship. I'll wait here, of course. Also, he is aware of it. I thought it was being like one of those, oh, there's no explaining why this one robot's alive, but the rest of them aren't really doing anything. So there is some self there is some awareness of that. Bug catch that the net thing is so dumb. Tell me it's that slime thing. Yeah, it's a slime thing, of course. Of course, that would be alive. Those are electric uh, bats. Okay. Oh, don't tell me I have to kill that last thing to get around to get through. Oh, I don't want. It. I don't want it to be that, but it's gonna be that, isn't it? I need a better way of fighting these things. Hey, that worked. Let's do that from now on. Oh, it's a door. <laughs> okay. I thought it was like, oh, no, I have to actually fight them with the sword and everything. No, just blow them up. Master, please take a look. This device looks like it's meant to be meant to hold a time shift stone, but there's not one currently installed. There's a 95% chance it is the same type of device as the one we encountered in the Never Mine. Signs indicate that the time shift stones were used in the facility as a kind of a power source. So I have to find a... I have to find one. That's what I'm being told by the game. At least I'm finding those easier to fight. See that this object is called a time shift orb i conjecture that unlike the time shift stones we've seen this device is designed to be carried around and installed at different locations basically 
Let me read this. Oh, I thought that was something to read. Uh, basically, pick up. Just take it with me. Ah, hell. All right. One set of jerks at a time. That's a map. Or money. And hey, money's fine. trippy. I kind of like that. It looks like it runs well on this. I like it. Ah, uh, okay. I use this to get myself across. Okay, this is pretty creative. I'm, I'm digging this. You're pretty clever. It's like, oh, if you get too close to it with it, then you might not be able to open it. But then sometimes you'll be able to open it. It's actually kind of cool. I, I I like how this level, uh, how this dungeon does things. Wait. There we go. That's what I meant to do. I don't know why the L targeting wasn't working. Like it clearly had the icon for him and it just wasn't working. God. Why does it count it as a diagonal? That's like my biggest issue with it. It, just, it always it counts like half my strikes as diagonal when it's not diagonal way too picky with the diagonal swings. Try this with um, <laughs> Piranha Plant's ugly cousins. Uh, I'm so sick of that. It's like they get a free hit on me before I can actually uh, react to it. Oh. 
if I go here, it'll... I thought if I went here, it'll shut down. It'll close itself, but I guess not. Oh. Oh. Okay, I got it. that oh wait I need to pull the box this way I got it perfect this up all right cool cool that was a lot just to get through here yeah cool i want this i want treasure i don't give a damn about what it just pointed me towards you got an evil crystal the solid chunk of pure crystallized monster malice is extremely rare i got pure evil Shoot. Why does the L targeting turn me around? It has done that so many times today. Poke. Poke. God. Controls a little jank. What? One more, isn't it? can't be serious so I have to make sure it covers not only this one but that one do that run through here analog stick sending me the wrong way probably I don't know okay and then I can bring this across this is a lot just to get one item through to do that as fast as I can it wasn't really working out but yeah how do I only it's wild to know that I only have one left or that I only had one potion left over it's because I was getting like everything was getting like a free shot at me 
I think now it just expands to everything. Oh no, it just opens the mouth. There's a whole dungeon. So I think I'm gonna need to go back, get more, come back, fly back down, and then try this entire place out, because good lord, this is ridiculous. So that's the full dungeon. Report, Master. The power of the time shift orbit has caused a change in the structure. I recommend going outside further to assess the situation. It's now that I'm out here. Getting late for you. I think... Yeah, it is getting a little late, so I think it might be a good idea for me to kind of call things off as well. Just because we have this entire thing to go through, and I'm going to need to prepare a lot for it, so... Information to report, Master, please take a look. Here's a, There's a 60% probability that these masts and these sails are from the, navy, from the ship that protects Naru's flame. You can now... Set your dowsing ability to search a ship that holds Naru's flame. Wait, am I that close to the end? There's no way I'm that close to the end, am I? Alright then, Mermaid Amy. Thanks for coming by. Hope you have a good night. I don't know, I'm curious now. Like, am I that close? How close am I to the end of this? I know I'm going to have to fight something, so... See, but for sure, I do want. I do actually want to run back and uh, get something. You're welcome. <laughs> Good night. Found a clue. You know the place. Some kind of thing called dowsing. This time we'll definitely find my ship. Ready to set sail? No. I see. I know I'm not ready to set sail because I'm gonna go in there. All right, so I'm gonna actually head to the sky. I'll keep going. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna end it for tonight. Just because. It's like I figured I might as well do it since I'm like getting closer and closer to the flame. Oh shoot, that's right. I'm supposed to. Motion control stuff. It's those yellow ones that kept getting free shots on me, and the fact that uh, whenever I swing. Or go for my motion control. The uh, it doesn't always go diagonal, which is what I aim for. Oh God, really? Yeah, so it's not always what I'm aiming for, but it, it does it anyways. I have very few potion. Uh, I don't have like a lot of parts. So I could just do this. I think there's another thing where um, there was a thing that costs like either 300 or 800 that I can get from uh, the beetle shop, which I am actually considering. I don't have the ingredients for that. Let's take a look. I want to know if it's actually here, so that way I can see if I can get some kind of upgrade for it. If I don't, I get ejected. So that'll be fun. No, it's just another pouch. Gee, what's this? Carry actually 300. Um, yeah, sure. 
I can take an extra... <laughs> so I can now hold 900 plus. Yeah, sure. I'll buy another adventure pouch. I want to know what this one is, though. It's a life metal, bestows a bunch of mysterious mystical effects for whoever carries it. What kind of effects? Don't ask me. I don't know. 800. I can't do it. Oh! Yeah, no, I can't do it. Sorry, Beetle. And now to head back to Lanaru Desert because I definitely want to do this three times. In. It's totally where I was going, right? <laughs> I went right into it. It was actually kind of funny. Can I land on it? No, I can't. So I have to do it from Skyloft. Not the area that I chose to jump from. Well, that's kind of weak. But then again, I think it loads it as two different things. Like it loads Skyloft and then it loads the overworld on its own. Like so. I meant to open that a long time ago, and I couldn't do it. Hmm. 100 rupees. That's pretty good. Do a little bit of this dungeon, and then we'll kind of call it for a night. Just so I can... I uh, just want to work on it without defeating a bad Nick, but... I also want to stream, and I want to beat uh, Skyward Sword as soon as I can, so... Feels like I'm gonna kind of rush myself, but trust me, I, I actually do. I want to beat this game, but I also need to beat this game. Ugh. Like when you mess up the motion controls, then it gets really weird. Like I'm holding it in such an awkward. There we go. Like I was holding it like this the whole time. Pirate stronghold. Let's go right, go right in. All right then. I could go through the front, but going up here is another idea. Then I can just turn around, aim up, right there. And this is the clue that it's... Oh, it's just a... You know what? That works too. Sweet. That was all that was for, but it was worth it. And from there, I just... I'm guessing it's more... Wait a minute. Well, that's not right. I came through here. I walked through this area already, so I don't think this is where I need to be. So, if I were to do this... Now... Maybe I do need that... Maybe I do need to go up here. Oh. Okay. I hate that I have to reset it so many times, but it's not like uh, the Wii version where you need to set it down and then... Hmm. 
Oh, I did have to leave this area. I legitimately thought I didn't have to. So it's around there. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting. All right then. I actually thought I did. I had to just like keep going through the stronghold. No choice but to ask you to do this for me, so it gets good cracking. There's a high probability that the ship is currently hidden from our view, but if we attack it, then we might catch a glimpse of it. The stronghold it was actually in that direction, so... Taking them out one at a time works. Unless I, well, I was gonna say unless I did that, but oh, even that too. out-of-bounds areas. It's not like it hit something, but it might just be the sand. I'm just waiting for it to start beeping really fast or something. So here? Or maybe not.
My guess is between there. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing it. Wait, is this thing constantly moving? Oh, that would suck if that was Oh, there it is. Found it. We must pursue. Okay. That's what I, it was moving around. Got it. I take it a whole different yeah it's like a whole big dungeon the sand ship uh hmm okay well this will probably take me a while to go through so I think what I'll do is I'll leave this for next time wait do I have to find it again Okay. I'd like to find a place where I can save for now. I have a feeling that's not going to happen. We'll see. We'll see what this looks like. Oh, it's right there. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to save it, and then we'll come back to this on Wednesday, hopefully. If not, we'll come back to it, uh, not Wednesday, uh, Thursday. And if I can't come back to it Thursday, I'll come back to it on Saturday. So I'll be doing that for sure. I know it's a bit of a shorter stream, but it's also kind of late. I was trying to finish a script, but it didn't get finished. So this means I have a little bit more to do tomorrow. Anyways, um, wow, 17 hours in the game. I hope I'm close to the end. I feel like I am. I don't know, I'm told it's around 20 hours. Anyways, uh, with that said, uh, I want to thank you all so much for coming by. Next time, we will continue more Skyward Sword, um, probably. If not, then I'll be playing probably Mario Sunshine or something. Uh, and then I, uh, you know, same old YouTube thing that I keep trying to say, but it doesn't always pan out properly for me. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, until next time, hope you all have a wonderful and safe day. And I'll see you for the next stream. Take care.